This way of finding energy has attracted the attention of engineers. What if robots could do the same? But we needn't fear for our children and pets just yet. Ecobot can't match skills honed by millions of years of evolution. But it does get its energy in the same way by digesting flies. It can't catch them yet, though the next version will. It has to be fed dead flies, which are digested in a special microbial fuel cell. This uses chemical energy, driven by bacteria decomposing the fly, to produce a trickle of electricity. But even after a hearty meal of flies, it doesn't produce much electricity. Ecobot has to sit for several minutes digesting its meal before it's stored enough energy to move a couple of centimeters. And that's it. Until it's digested a bit more fly. But the system does work. Ecobot has been programmed to move towards a light source and to take a few test measurements on the way. Over 20 minutes or so, it covers a couple of meters, all on nothing more than a lunch of flies. In ecological terms, Ecobot is a predator. But nature's food chain starts much lower down. And it's here that bio-inspired thinking might hold the key, not just to self-refueling robots, but to how we make and use energy. A whole new future for humanity.